as expected, fully packed here tonight. It's the Grand Theater. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. The pleasure. And here he is. Saul Canelo. Well, we're all. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but the fans will only need the edge. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. It's all offense all the time. Both men step back for just a moment. Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media, it's time to settle the score. Catch and shoot with the left counter, good job. He prevents that left uppercut from scoring. here at all. The nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Nice counter. The counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You're fighting a counter puncher, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. Lands with the right counter. And a counter left. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. From this moment forward, he cannot. On to the second round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if he can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Good counter left hand there. Nice exchange here from both men. Perfect counter shot. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their place. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Count. Nice counter shot. And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. He just misses with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Offensive. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards. Gonna need a knockout. The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. 
This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again. And your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Good counter punch. They both want a highlight reel knockout. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. And right back into the fray. Good counter right hand again. That counter shot lands. He threw the hook, didn't land. Changes from both men in this round. He fails to score with that left hook. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them. More than happy. Now Crawford may be ready to go down. But Crawford is on the canvas. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Left counter scores. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. Can make or break a fighter. Don't let him back into the fight. Don't give him no free shots. Keep smart. Back at it in round four. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything. Full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Good left counter that lands. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and then... Crawford's legs are all over the place. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination maximum respect. Trying to answer back. Good counter-punching for both these athletes. A big whiff with the right hook. On her right. There's a counter. Both men promised to knock their opponent down, and they were right in that round. Sometimes you talk about drawing first blood. What does that tell you? Mix it up, body and egg, be smart, change your angles. Great round, great round. Now, relax, relax. Now, don't wait till the Lord. 
Oh, he's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. He's ready to go. Time for the fifth round. Both fighters went to the canvas last round. What are we going to see here? I've seen that twice before. Both fighters knocked down in the same round. And you think, who's going to go back as confident? Who's going to come out as confident? Both fighters went back on unsteady legs. How is this going to unfold? That left counter punch will score. Watch that jab. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. That left counter was perfectly timed. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Both men step back for just a moment. Swing and a miss with that hook. A perfect counter lands. You'd like to see more jabs. Just miss with that hook. And he misses very close round with 10 seconds to go. Almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight. There's the bell for round six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Hey, those punches add up. Missed him with that uppercut. Terrence Crawford just got rocked. Congratulations. Accuracy, power, punch perfect. That must hurt.
Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters. Should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham, alongside Terrence Saul Canelo Alvarez. The Mex the fighters are ready. This bout is skipped. No doubt about it, this was the... And there's the bell to start round one. Both men step back for just a moment. Takes that jab. Beautiful counter punch. Blocks that right hook. These two have been going at it on social media, and now finally, they're about to go at it in the ring. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the hole. Just gets out of the way of that right. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. And his best defense is that Crawford is dazed. Bud Crawford is on the canvas. They're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. No final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up. Took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it off. Get on with the job. Here we go for round two. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Robert's legs are all over the place. is ticking they got him hurt but can they finish didn't wait long to get back and get engaged good left counter that lands still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You'll find to the counter. It's all offense all the time. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Nice counter shot. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. It's been all one-way traffic with just 10 seconds to go in the round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knock. Get it started in round three. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. 
What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know they want to shake your leg. They're a, a nuts here, away from getting stopped. Counter-punching. Nice job by him to block that jab. Nice exchange here from both men. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Great counter right hand there. Missed him with that uppercut. Crawford in trouble. How did they survive that? Crawford may be ready to go down. Trying to answer back. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. A very competitive round. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. It's so important now in this first minute. Great round, great round. Now, relax, relax. Now, don't wait till the Lord is behind each other and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into this fight. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shot. There's the bell for round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Bravery being shown here is just incredible. It's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. defense here at all some nice exchanges from both men in this round they're so close so close how can you separate them it's gonna be a hard night so much firepower here and his best defense is not as good as his offense it somehow weathered the storm There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is to not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Crawford's legs are all over the place. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. He got out of the way of that right hook. 
which one of these athletes is going to say I can't take it anymore? Catch and shoot. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through willpower, calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Nice exchange here from both men. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter and a court. This is the beginning of round six. Going off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He misses with that jab. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. He can't afford to make one single minor mistake. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Good counter left hand there. He threw the hook, didn't land. He's been showing exceptional chins, by the way. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. That left counter punch will score. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Disaster averted. Nice punch. Another scoring shot there. Very close round with 10 seconds. Crawford in trouble. Oh.
As expected, not a ticket left, ladies and gentlemen. We are sold out at the Grand Theater. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. It's time for our tale of the tape. Terrence Bud Crawford. He can fight both Southpaw and Orthodox. Five foot eight inches tall with a 74 inch reach. And he'll be taking on the legend himself, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. And here he is, Bud Terrence Crawford, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. He also can crack at welterweight, one of the best to ever do it. Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. You can hardly hear yourself speak. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three-division champion of the world, Terrence. Bud Crawford, hiding out of the blue corner. We welcome you to this beautiful. You can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. Still swinging with nothing left. his chin exposed and he got caught have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight that's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media it's time to settle the score It's onward and upward after another knockout win here. A knockout victory? That is, Todd, did you see the shot? That's not a knockout, that's an assassination. What a shot.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action night. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Sugar Ray Robinson, 5 foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 72.4 inches. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled. Saul Canelo. And now we toss it. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins. To fight in this venue, you have got... And there's the bell to start round one. Let's that jab. There's a counter shot. Still swinging with nothing left. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this. They love this. They are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the head. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Misses with that jab. And he misses with the left uppercut. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Beautiful counter shot. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Counter punches, my favorite kind of fighters. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. He just misses with that big right hand. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good left counter that lands. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get complacent. Here we go for round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. And showing exceptional chins, by the way. Punch, counter punch. Quick punch scores. Nice exchanges. From Robinson hit hard, and he may be ready to go. Sugar Ray is down. some point the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down he parries away that left hook why aren't they keeping their glove so final 10 seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp
where this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. To make or break a fighter. Let's get it started in round three. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, this is gonna... If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's gonna happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. This is a high-octane battle. Carries that right jab away. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not fast. No rest for the weary. And that's exactly where he doesn't need to be. Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than nothing. This fighter, we've never seen Canelo in this sort of trouble. Does he have what it takes to get out of trouble here? Good job trying to back out of trouble. Trying to score that left, but can't. Very competitive. Oh, my word. Canelo just got clipped. That'll be a 10-8 round. Back at it in round four. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff him. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, go to go with them, and have a tail. That's what they do. Robinson hit hard, and he may be ready to go. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Some fighters, when this happens, this... When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. So time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. A knockout victory. That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again. It will happen all over again.